Good morning, my sweet, sweet friends. I'm coming at you live today from Sedona, Arizona, and it is one of the most incredible and healing places that I have been. Um, so I wanted to share with you all just a tip, a tip for your business, and I want to present an idea, so comment below if you like this, but I'm thinking about going live on my fan page on and on Instagram, so if you're not following my Instagram, let's all connect, so um, please comment below with the link to your Instagram, That's and don't forget the www.instagram.com slash Elise Leininger, so the username, um, that's how I want you to comment so that we can follow each other. We've we built community here and on Instagram. So how do you build your business consistently when you are faced with challenges in your life, which I have been faced with um, health wise? You just keep showing up authentically and um, get out of your head because I'll tell you what, you can spin all kinds of stories, am I right? About how you shouldn't go live today or you shouldn't come up with a post today or whatever. So here's what I've come up with that has been really helpful to me. And I hope that you'll take some of this and apply it to your own business because our businesses are highly successful when they are an extension of ourselves. And when they're an extension of ourselves, there's no pressure. It doesn't feel like work. It's not hard. Am I right? Have you guys ever faced that? Hey, Jennifer and Jennifer, I love that you guys are on here. Um, but have you ever seen that in your own life? That when you're struggling and pushing and you are out of alignment with who you are, then it feels really hard and you will find all kinds of reasons not to do it, right? So today's challenge for you is to write down three topics that you are passionate about and intertwine your network marketing business into it so that when you do come online, you are productive rather than just consuming other people's content. Because let's be honest, if you just hop onto Facebook or Instagram and you're just consuming other people's content, you're not moving the needle on your business. So here's my challenge to you. You're going to write down the three topics. You're gonna decide when you have the highest energy level of the day and that's when you're going to sit down and you're going to actually, with intention, create a post or some content that teaches other people. And again, if it's about one of the things that you're passionate about, you guys, don't overthink this, okay? It could be as simple as reminding people to drink enough water. It could be teaching why probiotics are important for your body. It could be teaching about the gut-brain connection. It could be you sharing that you worked out today. Yes, that's inspiring to people. It could be share, teaching something from the chapter in the book you read last night when you went to bed instead of scrolling your phone. <laughs> All right, so this is, this is kind of my idea. I'm just going to pop on. I'm going to pop on, I'm going to share what's on my heart, what's on my mind, what I'm doing in my own business, in my own life, and um, you can find me live every day here on Instagram. I'm sorry, I'm on Facebook. <laughs> Over on Instagram or here on Facebook. And um, go ahead and tag your team members. Tag your, uh, share this into your groups, your chats, if you think that will be valuable to them. If you think that they would benefit from hearing one of my golden nuggets each day. And... Um, I kind of feel like like I was chatting with this young 21-year-old I met last night at a sound healing. I posted a picture of that on my Instagram story. But she was um, so gifted, but yet so uh, in her head. Like she would, I would ask her a question, intuitively she would know the answer. And then, and then she'd immediately say, but, 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 but like, so she would get out of her head or sorry, out of her heart where she intuitively knows the answer and go into her head and talk herself out of taking the action. Who is guilty of that? I know I am, especially during the journey of healing my own, um, health challenges. You guys, we still don't have the answers. I'm doing the best I can every day. Am I crying every day? Yes. <laughs> like because I get frustrated and then I get out of my heart. My heart knows that this is only a chapter. My heart knows that this is an uncomfortable time, but then my head goes into, but what if, 
but what if I don't show up? But what if um, people don't want to hear from me anymore because I don't look healthy anymore? Or you, look, you guys, we make up these things. These are stories that we tell ourselves. It is our ego. It is our ego. You know what that stands for. In my world, it stands for edging God out rather than letting spirit speak through you, rather than connecting with one another in that divine way that we were all designed to do, all of us. Um, so that's th that's just my little piece. I'm, I think I'm really gonna like this. It's gonna kind of feel like a, like a video journal. Like, I love your feedback, and I love coming on here and just sharing my heart. And there you go. Yes, the last few months I have allowed my head not to let me show up because I've been embarrassed about the emotional roller coaster I've been on. <laughs> so I'm doing my best to be more authentic and showing up in a way that aligns with where I am on the journey of being a millionaire in the online space and in network marketing. Um, there is pressure, there is stress. However, how much of it is created by myself in my own mind, right? Like, think about that. How much of the stress do we create for ourselves thinking that someone else has an expectation when in all actuality, their expectations should not be your compass, right? Mm -mm. Other people's opinions and expectations should not be the compass by which you are navigating your life. Okay, write that down in the comments for me because that is a quote that I need to create a blog post around. <laughs> because I think that we often give away our power. We give it to someone else. We even give it to strangers. We give it to people who don't pay our bills. We give it away. We give it away. And if you're in network marketing, you probably give it away to the people that are the whiniest and most negative on your team who create the drama and stress rather than giving it to those who are lit up, inspired, and on a mission. Am I right? You guys, I love you. Thanks for tuning in. I promise to keep these short five minutes or less golden nuggets every day here and on Instagram. Um, so bookmark the page. Maybe you'll set it to see first. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you'll share this with your team. I don't know. And guess what? Does it matter? No. Because what matters is that those of you who show up will go up. Those of you who are tapped in to the lessons that I'm learning, the teachings that I'm sharing, all I can hope is that, that it's a spark that I pass to you that helps to fuel your fire, your passion, your soul. And when we live our lives with our soul on fire, even when we're pa facing pain, um, health challenges, situations in our family, our personal lives that might suck, even when we're not sleeping at night because we allow our brains to get out of control and run, run, run rampant with the what ifs, <laughs> we allow fear to take over, even then. When we're together, we uplift and inspire one another. When we show up every day, even like this, you all, you could go online on, on your Facebook or Instagram and share from your heart. Just a few minutes a day, every day. It's the consistency that counts. That's what builds your tribe. Okay, so I love you. I'm going to sign off. I'll see you again tomorrow. I cannot wait. Um, some days I'll, I might come on here and just bawl my eyes out because that's where I'm at in, in my life right now and I don't need to hide it. Yes, I'm speaking to myself when I say that because I need to remind myself of that and I probably need to remind you of that too. You can be successful and messy. You can be on the journey to freedom and it can also be an emotional roller coaster and you can embrace that just like I have. So from my heart to yours, I'm signing off today. I can't wait to see you tomorrow and I'm sending you love. Talk to you soon.